All right, guys. Okay, so I'm about to go out of town, so there's gonna be no editing. It's just gonna be me. I'm gonna talk about the draft and some other things. Uh, okay, so before we get to the draft, the, today is Friday, July 8th. The Red Wings traded for Billy Husso. They got, uh, St. Louis Blues got the our 73rd overall pick. That was a third round pick. And so we signed him for a three year, 4.75 uh, AAV deal per Elliott Friedman. This is kind of similar to the Ned Delkovich uh, signing last year. I don't think the Blues wanted to give him big money, so it looks great. You know, we got goalies locked up for two, three years. Sebastian Kosa can develop in GR patiently. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's talk about what Marco Casper said. He said he wants to be his own player, competitive, and he can play any four position. That means left wing, center, right wing. Um, Emily Kaplan in the draft. Love Emily. She was wearing a green leather jacket. She went from being five foot two to standing at six foot tall when she was interviewing players. I don't know how that happened. Um, wish I could have those growth spurts. Uh, all right, let's get to the players really quick. So it's just gonna be some stats about their height, where they're from, their position, some of their points they put up. So we got Marco Casper standing at six foot two, 187. He is a center that shoots left, but he can play any position. He's from Innsbruck, Austria. His rights are with Rogel BK through 22-23. In 46 games in SHL this year, he had seven goals and four assists. Check out his highlights. A couple of them are slap shots, a couple of them are in front of the net. He's a fun player to watch. Uh, who knows what he's gonna be projected to. People think top six forward. In 13 playoff games, he went three goals, three assists for six points. Okay, next player, Dylan James, six foot tall. 181 pounds, left wing, shoots left. He's from Calgary, Alberta. His rights are with the University of North Dakota. That's pretty sweet. They make good hockey players. In 62 games with Sioux City Musketeers of the USHL, he had 28 goals and 33 assists for 61 points. I think that's math's right. In 10 playoff games, he went five and three with eight points. Okay, next. So we got a center and a left wing. Another left wing, Dmitry Buchelnikov. 5'10", 165, left wing that shoots right. My opinion is that you should play on your opposite hand if you're a winger. It's easier to get a shot towards the net because the, your blade is on the inside of the ice. He's from Miznik Tagil, Russia. Uh, with Scott, 1946 in the MHL, he played 56 games, holy shit. 41 goals and 34 assists for 75 points. Hopefully there's no issues getting him over. And maybe he's already here. Nine playoff games went nine and five for 14 points. Moving on, Anton Johansson, first Swede and first defenseman. 6'4", 179, big boy. He's a right-handed shooting D, we need those. First right-handed shooting D. Right now we have uh, Lindstrom, Afronik, and Sider. Those are the only RHDs in the system. I might be missing a couple. Uh, he's from Linköping, Sweden. Fun name. It, with the JT and Lexan team in 21 games, he had four goals, 13 assists for 17 points. Same season. J20 team though, 22 games, six and four for 10 points. SHL, he played four games, didn't get any points in the playoffs either. Uh, right now, or in the 2020, 22, 23 season, his rights are with Lexan IF J20. Moving on. Fun name, Amadeus Lombardi. 5'10", 165 center that shoots left. He's from Concord, Ontario, another Canadian. In the 21-22 season with the Flint Firebirds of the OHL, in 67 games, he had 18 goals, 41 assists for 59 points. 19 playoff games, he had went seven and eight for 15 points. He's unsigned in the 2020-22-23 season. Next, Maximilian Kilpinin. 6'1", 174, center or left wing that shoots left. He's from Nordalje, Sweden, forgive me, uh, with Orib, Orib, Oribe, I don't know how to say that, J-18. He had played four games, one goal, seven assists for eight points in the J-20, same organization, 27 games, 14 goals, 11 assists for 25 points. J-20 playoffs, six goals, or six games, four and five for nine points. He is, his rights in the 22-23 season are with Oribro, J-20, there I said it right. Alrighty, moving on. Tanias Mathurin, fifth round pick. Six foot three, 201 pound defenseman that shoots left. He is from Ajax, Ontario in 21-22 season. 
with North Bay Battalion in 44 games. He had three goals and 12 assists, 15 points, 13 playoff games, uh, zero assists, four point, uh, four assist, zero goals, four assists for four points. He currently is unsigned for the 22-23 season. Uh, last two picks were, I believe, Owen Menlebacher. See, yep. Owen Menlebacher, seventh round, 201st overall, 6'2", 190 center that shoots left. Uh, this is the fourth center we've drafted, or the Red Wings have drafted. He's from Fort Erie, Ontario, it, playing with the Muskegon Lumberjacks in the USHL. He, in 56 games, he went with 17 goals and 25 assists for 42 points. In nine playoff games, he had four goals, four assists for eight points. His 22, 23 rights are with the University of Wisconsin. Right on. Uh, final pick in the fifth center. Five out of our nine draft picks were centers. Brendan, or sorry, Brennan Ali, 6'1", 201, center that shoots left. He's from my neck of the woods, Glencoe, Illinois. That's like 20 miles north of Chicago, if you know the area. Very small, it's kind of close to the Botanical Gardens. Very beautiful spot. So his parents probably pretty good at helping him in his hockey career. Uh, with Avon Old Farms High School, it's a prep school in Connecticut, I believe. In 27 games, he scored 15 goals and 19 assists for 34 points. With the USHL Lincoln Stars, he played nine games, zero goals, two assists. His 2020, his 22, 23 rights are with the University of Notre Dame. All right, so recap. We find the recap page somewhere around here. Okay, so the Wings drafted two defensemen, one left-handed shooting, one right-handed shooting, five centers and three left wings. No right wings or goalies, but who knows what position the player is gonna play ultimately. That is nine picks total. Uh, to recap, the Red Wings did a smashing job drafting Marco Casper. We had no idea who we were gonna pick. He's gonna be playing with Rogla in 22-23 alongside Theodore Niederbach and William Molinder. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch him uh, progress. Who knows when he'll play with the team. Um, so the Wings have a developmental camp, I believe Sunday through Thursday. I'm going to try and go to that because I'm about to head to Michigan. That would be dope. Uh, you know, meet some people, watch some of the players. And, you know, channel's going going good. It's a lot of fun. Um, looks like we're gonna. I'm going to be getting a microphone at some point, one way or another. I uh, appreciate all the comments I've gotten. The, uh, you know, positivity's been great. You know. I just thought yesterday that it would be really cool to like go to Sweden at some point this year and watch some of the games. I don't know. That would be a long shot. Um, but I'm excited. Lots of Swedish players. Lots of, uh, lots of good things in this organization. All right. Peace out. Uh, have, a good, have a good weekend, guys. And we'll try and do some content on Monday. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to even be in Chicago at that point. But peace.